Hello everybody! I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Player Spider-Man. I welcome you to Let's Play Blind Deadline. Now this is one of the games that uh, one of you suggested to me. I don't remember where or when. It was a month ago or over one month ago. Uh, there were several games that they uh, suggested to me that were, uh, well, adventure games, text adventures and such. So, um... Well, I decided to just look into them and find them what they're all, all about. And these are done by Infocom, apparently. And Infocom was very popular back in the early days of the 80s. Making all kinds of uh, very interesting text, text adventures. And this is one of them, this deadline. An Interlogic Mystery. So yeah, we're at the uh, South Lawn. You're on a white lawn just north of the entrance to the Robner Estate. Directly north at the end of the pebbled path is the Robner House, flanked to the northeast and northwest by a vast expanse of well-kept lawn. Beyond the house can be seen the lakefront. Well, let's see if I can... if I look it gives me the same. Okay, so let's go... north. Front path. The time is 8.02 a.m. That's a nice touch that they have a time here. You are at the Rob Nurse's front door, which is closed. You can walk around the house from here to the east or west. To the south, a rolling lawn leads to the entrance of the estate. Yes, I know. Uh, knock door. The last sentence didn't make sense. Well, good for you. You have to be very specific in these early day uh, adventure games. Uh, you, you know, you have to know what the commands are. If you don't have a manual, then you're pretty much screwed on what you can do. It's only a guessing game, but I used to play these a lot, so I'm pretty okay with it. Because it did not understand the knock door, so you cannot knock, no knock on the door. Let's go east. East of front door. You are in front of the Robner house, just east of the front door. A small window, closed and securely locked, is the only thing of note here. To the northeast is the east side of the house. The or ornately carved cornerstone of the no house is nearby. Look, stone. Mm. Uh, look, window. Okay, look in. Window. No, that's a wando. Look in window. The window is dirty and impossible to see through clearly. Okay. Look at the cornerstone. What? Look at the stone. Okay, never mind. Let's look. The ornately carved cornerstone of the house is nearby. Why is it even mentioning that? Let's go back. Let's go further into the east. You are on a neatly manicured lawn east of the house, which extends north and east to the shore of a lake. To the northwest is a peaceful orchard, and toward the south, another white lawn. Southeast, beside the lake, is a small shed with a solitary dirty window. Mr. McNabb is off to the northwest. Well, let's go northwest. Orchard path. You are on a path at the edge of a small orchard of fruit trees, which abuts the eastern side of the back of the house. The orchard is obviously intended more to display the beauty of the blossoms in spring than to produce significant amounts of fruit. The windows of the kitchen look out onto the orchard, although your view of them is blocked by the trees and a small grape arbor. To the west is a path along a rose garden and lawn sweep out to the north and east. Mr. McNabb is off to the northwest. Well, let's go back southeast and actually get into the house. The east side of the house. There are no windows or entries of any kind here at the east side of the house. To the north is the orchard. The south lawn lies to the south. A lawn also slopes down towards the shore of a lake to the east. Let's go front path. Open. Dodor. The front open is now. The front door is now open. Let's go inside. Mrs. Robner appears, walking down the hallway from the north. Hello, she says. I'm Mrs. Robner. Please come in. I'm afraid I really can't help you much. This is surely a terrible waste of time, not to mention upsetting. 
having all these police marching around the house. This has been a trying time, as I suppose you can understand. As I told Mr. Coates and other detective, you may look around, but you must be out by 8 o'clock um, at the latest. Oh, and I almost forgot. Mr. Coates will be reading my husband's will at noon in the living room. You may attend if you wish. I'm going to make myself some breakfast now. I'll be around all day if you need anything. I'll do what I can to help. Good day. This is the foyer of the Robner house, beautifully appointed with a fine crystal chandelier, marble floors, and a large marble top table. The front door to the south is closed. The foyer continues north. Mrs. Robner heads off to the north. Okay, so crystal chandelier, marble, marble, marble. Uh, let's just keep on going, let's follow her. This is a hallway north of the foyer. To the west is an open doorway, and to the east is a foot of staircase. The hall continues north. Mrs. Robner heads off to the north. Well, we're gonna head off to west and see what's inside. Ah, this is the living room. This is a large and impressive room, whose furnishing bespeak the great personal wealth of the Robners. On the south side of the room is a large bay window, now closed, which looks out onto the forest yard. A wood pile sits beside a huge field stone fireplace. A double doorway leading to the main hall is the only exit. Pictures of Mrs. Robner's colonial ancestors line one wall. The room contains some formal seating for at least 15 people, in several groups of chairs and couches, tables and cabinets, all of the finest mahogany and walnut to complete the furnishing. On one of the tables is the telephone. Sitting on a table is a hardcover book. Miss Dunbar is sitting on the sofa here. Well, let's look at the book. This is a novelization of Deadline, a classic work of computer. <laughs> so they have a book of the game in the book in the game. Okay, nice, very nice. Well, get the book. Taken. Talk, Miss Dun. Dunbar. To talk to someone, try say to someone something. Say to Dunbar, hello. Hello. Miss Dunbar nods at you. Ask about Rob Dern. Okay. Say to Dunbar Robner. You can't see any Dunbar Robner here. Okay, so I really do have to. Dunbar. You have to do this. Complicated game. More complicated than I've ever played of any kind of uh, texture, text adventure. Which Robber do you mean, Mr. or Mrs.? Ooh, nice. I have to be very specific. Nice. I like this game. Mr. Robner. Do it yourself. Well, I'm... What? What? <sighs> Say to Miss Dunbar. Mrs. Rob... Mrs. Robner. How about this? Okay, ask. I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that. Ask Mrs. Rubner. It's not clear to whom you are referring. Okay, ask Miss Dunbar. Mrs. Rubner. Why not do it yourself? Okay, I really am now confused about this game. So, no, oh, sorry. North of foyer, let's go to north. You are at the corner of two halls. One, one a short hallway to the west ending with a set of doors and the other a long hall leading south toward the front door. To the north are swinging double doors leading into the kitchen. Well, that's where we're going. This is the Robner kitchen, quite large and with a full complement of appliances and labor-saving devices. On one wall, a beautifully crafted shelf unit contains rare china. 
a unique hand painted family heirloom depicting scenes from Greek mythology. The china consists of many place settings of plates, teacups, and saucers. There are several cabinets which likely contain silverware, glasses, and the like. To the east is a pantry. Mrs. Robner is preparing a meal. Mrs. Rourke is here, cleaning the kitchen. Let's go to the pantry. This is the pantry with shelves containing a large selection of canned and packaged foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and dry goods. Sitting on a set of wooden shelves is a food assortment. Look at assortment. You don't need the word assortment to solve this mystery. Well, that's good. Look at food. There's nothing special about the food. Well, sucks to be the food then. Okay, let's go back south. Mrs. Rapner heads off to the west. Let's follow her. She's in the dining room. You have entered a, a, the, a dining room. A long table seating 12 is in the center of the room, and a large trestle table is against the south wall. A large picture window to the north allows a view of the rose garden. Hanging on the wall are several cheerful pictures and their paintings, including one by Seurat, which appears to be an original. Mrs. Robner is eating breakfast here. Ask Mrs. Robner. Mr. Robiner. Okay. Ask Mrs. Robiner murder. I don't understand. I really should have checked the manual before doing this. Oh well, let's go back. South. Let's look. All way north and west is it in the east. This is staircase. Let's lead to the second floor. Open arch which leads west and south. Let's go south. In the east west hallway south of the staircase. A door to the south is closed. Open door. The door is now open. Mrs. Rourke's room. This is the bedroom of the housekeeper, Mrs. Rourke, and it's very simply furnished. A single bed, flanked by bare wooden end tables, sits below a closed window on the south end of the room. The floor is hardwood with no rug. The only exit is a door to the north, which is open. Closed door. Door is now closed. Good. Let's go back to the. Oops. Beep, 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 beep. East west hallway south of the uh, so let's go north up yep you are on a landing halfway up the flight of stairs you notice that the stairs do indeed make a quite a noise when stepped upon you are at the top of the staircase where short hallways run north and south and a corridor the length of a house to heads west this is the end of the short northwest hallway. To the east is a small room. This room contains a bare essentials for a guest room, bed, tables, and a chair. A window looks toward, looks out toward the east. Look out window. From here you have a good view of the east lawn, a shed, and the lake in the background. All right. Let's go more. No. Oops. Let's go back south. The hallway turns a corner here and continues east. To the north is ahead of the stair. And the door to the south is open. Let's go south. Dunbar's bathroom. This bathroom contains the usual sink, toilet, and bath. A medicine cabinet closed is above the sink. A door to the north is open. Open cabinet. Opening the cabinet reveals a bottle of Loblo, a bottle of cough medicine, and a bottle of aspirin. Okay. Close the cabinet. Closed. Let's go north. I said the will continues to the east. The hall ends here. To the south is a walking closet. I'll go in. This large closet has many shelves containing various cleaning equipment and supplies. You hear a phone ring in, in a nearby room. Okay.
To the north, Mrs. Dun Miss Dunbar enters the hallway from downstairs. Heads off to the south. Heads off to the south. Brushing her hair. Well, I'm sorry. I don't need to disturb you. Mrs. Robner is walking past you. Well, I'm going down. Going down. So what were the exits from here? Open archways. Let's go to the west, south. Recently the liver is laying on the t table. Look at on the rope. Canaan post uh, fifth uh, July sixth. Mrs. Marshall Robner, five oh six. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but hey, I'm a detective. Look at the letter. Dear Leslie, I'm sorry to learn that Marshall has been despondent again. His obsessive interest in business uh, must be causing you trouble, terrible anguish. It doesn't surprise me that he talks of suicide when he is in this state, but the thought of the business going to Baxter after he's gone will keep him alive. So George has finally gone too far. It's hard to believe, after all those empty threats, that Marshall actually followed through. It serves that little leech right, if you ask me. This means that should the unthinkable happen, you will be provided for as you deserve. I'll see you Friday as usual. Love, Stephen. Leslie, Stephen, and okay. Marshall Robner. So her first name is Leslie. That's very interesting. I wonder who Steven is. Envelope. Down on envelope. It's now on the floor. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Take. Envelope. Put letter in envelope. You can't see any letter here. How about the inventory? What do I have in me? Have in in me? Yeah. Let's see. Guts. Uh, liver. Put envelope on table done okay so let's go back south the front door is you can hear footsteps on the staircase let's go north George is to the east heading toward downstairs heads off to the west okay let's follow George whoever George is I will follow heads off to the north Say to George, hello. Looks up and grunts disinterestedly. Well, he's a nice guy, apparently. Let's go back to South. And Mrs. Robner Hall to the West. Open door. Let's go to the West. You are in front of the Robner house, just west of the front door. To the north is a large bay window through which can be seen part of the living room. To the northwest is the west side of the house. Let's go northwest. There are no doors or windows at the ground level here on the west side of the house. A beautiful rose garden separated by a tall fence lies to the north, and the front of the house is to your south. A large lawn bordering the lake lies to the west. Well, let's go. A fence prevents you. You're mucking up the rose garden. Well, I'm sorry. At the west of the front door. Again. Look at. Look. Stone. 
I don't know what that why it's uh, pointing. It's pointing me to the cornerstone, but I don't know how I could, can look at it even closely, or uh, do I have to walk into it or something? I'm not sure. We're at the south lawn. I don't want to be there. Ah, uh, I'll figure this out later. I'm gonna put a stop to his here, and hopefully I can find what to do around here. At least wait until noon so we can get the uh, uh, will rating. And also find out what the heck's going on around here. Uh, apparently somebody's died, of course, and I'm a detective here to find out what has happened. And how things will be screwed up by the others. Anyway... This is this is gonna be something very interesting. At least it's uh, it's got me into it already. It's gonna be, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna be. We'll see. It's a blind let's play after all. But I'm gonna play this uh, a little further than this. It's not gonna be a little short let's play like the others have been because I got tired of those because they were difficult or something else. But this seems very interesting. So you never know how far I'm gonna play this. I might even play it through, or as far as I can get. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.